Yo guys, Ponchi here, and today we're gonna learn how to set up Overbridge with our Digitact and Logic Pro. Let's go. Yo guys, okay, so there is a setting on the Digitact in the settings that we need to make sure is correct before we try to hook up our Digitact to the computer. So go ahead and hit settings, go to system and USB config. Now you wanna make sure that overbridge is checked. You don't want that to be unchecked. You don't want either of these to be checked. You want overbridge to be checked by itself. And for good measure, I would hook up the USB to your computer and the Digitact before you turn on the Digitact and try not to unplug it while it's connected just to avoid any potential problems. So now we're gonna move over to the computer and I'll show you how to set it up on Logic. Okay, so now I've opened up Logic, uh, started a new project. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is go to Software Instrument. Now, as you can see, I've already got it pulled up here, Digitact, but uh, it would be under AU Instruments, and then Electron, and then Digitact. So right now I'm using Stereo. Now if you want to do multiple tracks, you can do 10x Mono. But uh, for me personally, I just want all the Digitact tracks to go through two Mono tracks or one Stereo track. So for me, that's, that's personally how I want it. Um, the reason I do that actually is because that way I'm a little more committed to not, not only my mix on the Digitact, but also the sounds that I choose. Um, but mostly the mix, you know. Um, I find that I second guess myself too much if I, if I don't commit to, to a certain mix or a certain sound. So that's why I do that. I, I basically I'm saying I purposely don't want to change it once it's recorded onto Logic. So anyway, that's just a personal choice. If you want to be able to control all the different tracks individually after the fact, after you record something, then go ahead and choose 10x mono. So, okay. So I'm going to create a track. So now the overbridge window automatically pops up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just name this track Digitact. You wanna make sure that Digitact is selected right here. If you have, if it says no device detected or no device selected, then it's not detecting your Digitact. So that's definitely something you wanna make sure um, you know, if it's not doing it, you might need to troubleshoot your cable. You know, maybe it's just a simple restart. Uh, maybe you need to reinstall Overbridge, but you know, there's, there's a, a few different ways to troubleshoot that. So um, if something like that happens to you, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll definitely help you with that. So, okay. So if you press buttons here on Digitact, You can hear that the audio is actually coming through the computer and not from the uh, Digitact itself because currently I don't have that plugged into anything. So the audio is indeed coming through the Overbridge plugin, which is really nice. So the other thing you can do here because you'll find out pretty quickly, you have audio, but if you try and hit record, let's just record something here. I have a beat pulled up there actually. So you can hear the beat playing, but you can see that there's nothing being recorded on the track. That was one of the first problems that I ran into when I started using Overbridge. So what you have to do for that is come down here to the stereo where it says stereo out. Basically what you need to do is route the audio through a bus 
and then have the bus be the input of a new audio track. So let's just go ahead and use bus one. And then I'm gonna create a new audio track. And I'll just name this Digitact Audio. If you wanna be thorough, you can put Digitact Plugin on this one. Okay, so now for this, for the Digitact Audio, you want the input to be coming from bus one where it says Digitact Plugin. Bam. So now, and then you, you want them both to be armed. So now if you hit record, also keep in mind, one thing I forgot to mention, when you hit record on your DAW, what it actually does is tells the Digitac to start playing. The, the tempo on here will change the tempo on the Digitac. So you can try that for yourself if you see if you try and change the tempo on here and look at your Digitact, you can see that the tempo changes on the Digitact as well. So, okay. So we'll just leave it at 120. Good old 120. And like I said, I already have a beat pulled up. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit record. And, you know, if you, if you want to do a perfect, um, perfect loop without having to automatically stop it you know you could either do the punch in or you could just use a uh, use the loop setting here on logic so let's try that I just want four bars here of the beat Okay, and there you go. So now we have, I'll just delete this first take here. So now we have a beat. So I can go ahead and uncheck this. And you'll notice when you play both of these, you essentially have the audio coming straight from the Digitact as well as what you just recorded. So you're gonna to wanna to mute the Digitact plugin track so that way you can listen to just the Digitact audio, so. have it so you know obviously there's a bunch of really cool stuff you can do with that um, I love the fact that you don't have to mess with any audio cables you don't have to mess with an interface if all you have is your laptop on you your MacBook or whatever all you need is a USB cable to hook up your Digitac to your MacBook and then you're golden you can make beats on the Digitac and record, basically record them into Logic, which is really, really nice. So that's one, yet another amazing thing about Electron. Because I found myself, you know, when I first got into the Electron world, I wanted to do the whole DAW-less thing, you know, but ultimately, ultimately you still got to have some kind of DAW, at least for recording. I mean, you know, you could use something like a Zoom H6 to record stuff, but... I guess me personally, I like the flexibility of a DAW, um, you know, but there's only some, there's only, like I mentioned before, I like to do my mixing on the Digitact itself rather than do it on the DAW. So, you know, that's just, for me personally, that's a compromise that I like to make. So, um, so yeah, there you have it. I hope this helps you guys. Um, feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions about Overbridge. I will be doing another one of these um, on the one of the analog ones, probably either the analog four or the analog rhythm. And, uh, you know, I want to show you guys how you can do it with that. I'll also make a, a video on the analog heat, which is a little different because it's not considered an instrument. So, um, you know, that's something you can use on your 
master bus, for example, to give you, give your master bus some really nice saturation and things like that. So, but uh, stay tuned for that. Hope this helped you guys. I'll see you in the next one.